Hi, Mike Salemi of Kettlebell Lifestyle. And what I wanted to share today with you is a fantastic exercise that I use. It's called the goblet squat that can really benefit golfers. And the reason being is about 64%, according to research done by the Titleist Performance Institute of all amateur golfers, experience what's called a loss of posture during their golf swing. And if you look at all the best golfers in the world, what you notice is they're able to maintain all their angles and all their postures throughout the entirety of the swing so that they can safely and effectively transfer force from the lower body all the way into the upper body and then into the club and of course into the ball. So for this exercise, if you've got difficulties performing an overhead squat, which is one of the key tests that we use to determine if someone does have issues with their loss of posture, this exercise will be great for you, especially if you're one of the people where the issue is coming from the lower body. So for a kettlebell goblet squat, in order to set up properly, I usually like to have the handle horizontally placed so it's right in front of the ankles. My toes will be slightly angled out and I'm gonna maintain a long open position extending through axial lengthening from the crown of the head all the way through the base of the tailbone. From here, I'm gonna chop the hips and sit the butt back. I should feel a nice stretch in the posterior chain. Then I find the handle, and then I jump it up to what's called the horns of the kettlebell, which are the sides of it. From here, I'm gonna tuck my elbows in and depress the shoulders down, so that way they're nice and set. From here, I'm gonna take a nice deep belly breath. I'm gonna flatten the abs and get nice and tall and long. And then I'm gonna push the knees out as I break from the hips and the knees simultaneously. To come back up, I push the earth away and I squeeze the glutes at the top. I lower down under control, driving the knees out and making sure that I'm not experiencing any curving from the lower back or that dreaded butt wink that you tend to see when people aren't able to squat properly and they allow the tailbone to tuck under. So what I'm trying to do is push the knees out sit down, and then drive the earth away from you. Now one modification that you can use in your training is you can do what's called a modified goblet squat, and it involves a slightly different grip. So you stand over the same way, you chop the hips, this time you grab the horns with the palms up, and then you bring it into the bottoms up position. From here, I set the shoulders in the same way. I drop the shoulders down, bring the elbows in, and the lower body follows the same path. Now I break at the hips and the knees as I squat, getting tall, getting long, and now my forearms touch against my thighs and that's the end of the range of motion. Then I squat up and push the earth away. Now both these variations are excellent for people who have difficulty squatting at depth because what it does, by having the kettlebell in front of you, it provides an awesome counterbalance for you. So whereas normally if I had a limited range of motion in the squat pattern and I wasn't able to squat very far down, I might lose my balance. But now that the weight's in front of me, I can really balance against that weight and keep my balance through the deeper range of motion. That counterbalance is also really nice because it really engages the anterior part of the core. So if you do this exercise properly, you should feel some nice ab engagement as well and just make sure you're maintaining good alignment throughout the entirety of the motion. This would be an excellent exercise to open up your hips and make sure you don't experience if your loss of posture is coming from hips, knees, or ankle immobility. Enjoy it.